hello YouTube, Noel Brown back at you with another video. I'm also known as PC Basics. Today I'm going to be going over the DeBloat script for Windows 10. I got my VMware right here. And, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Alright, so this is actually VMware Fusion 11? 14? Something like that? Let's look. 15.5.5. So, yeah, there you go. So, this is just a VM I created. Um, I can actually make it bigger for you. Make it easier to see. Um, basically, we're just going to bloat windows as it says down below in the title um, I hope it helps speed up your computer a little bit because that's honestly the point of it and you can use this tool however you want I'm going to show you how to use the PowerShell just to get it to work properly hopefully you guys can hear me okay um, this VM is pretty slow so we'll see so all you got to type in is Windows 10 Deep Bloat, the bloater script I'm going to write, and it should be on GitHub, that's where you want to get it from, yep, right here, okay, and you got to press this green code button, make sure you don't click on any, like, ads or anything, I don't think there are any ads on this page, but I'm just letting you know for safety, so you click this, and you hit download zip. And, uh, since I'm using Edge just because it's a VM otherwise I would use Chrome and I'm gonna just show where it goes it should go to your downloads but for simplicity's sake I'm gonna move it to the desktop I just hit control X and control V to cut and paste okay and you're gonna want to open this up this is your zip file and you gotta grab this you can either extract it this might look different to you because mine I actually have um, WinRAR but I can uninstall that and show you what it might look like for you or what it most likely will look like you might have 7-zip as well but you don't need any of those let me just click undo this and it will I'll show you what it would look like if you don't have any of that on there okay so this might still look different to you um, refresh yep it's gonna look like this for me but you, it will open in your uh, Explorer your window file Explorer you gotta take this file and bring it out see now that's what it would look like on yours um, and you can delete this now because you don't need that um, so what you gotta do is open this up you gotta make sure you have um, if you go to view options view again you gotta make sure you have um, hide extensions for known file types you want that turned off just press ok or apply whatever um, so you want to go in here and the reason you do that is because you need to rename this readme.md the readme.txt just so you can get the instructions and here we're gonna full screen that so basically it says um, I and as well as the developers don't take any responsibility for problems that may happen while running this that's just a, a warning because you need to kind of know what you're doing to do this properly and not screw up your computer so we're going to go down to the start menu here and type in PowerShell and you're going to want to run this as an administrator and it will just open up like that and it may take a minute if you've never run it before so basically you need the first download the zip file once extracted open PowerShell as administrator enable PowerShell execution so copy and paste sat dash ex, extrude ex, ex, excuse my English I can't talk extrusion ex, extrusion policy unrestricted dash force that's what you want so copy that and to paste it in the PowerShell you just right click on your mouse sorry again I can't speak so do that and press enter that will make it so you can actually run this to bloat script okay and then it wants you 
to change your directory to where the files are located. So easiest way to figure that out because you can't just change directory the desktop you actually need to go to where this is so click up here uh, hit copy go back to PowerShell and type in CD for change directory and then right click again and it will put you right where you need to be okay and then you can type in DIR if you want so that just displays where you're like what's in that directory so if I was on desktop it would show me my desktop but since I'm in this folder Windows 10 to bloater dash master it will show everything in the folder okay and then to run the script enter the following command so after this little uh, parenthesis what you select the dot Windows 10 to bloater uh, GUI dot PS1 copy that again right click you can close this now we don't need it and it will put that in press enter and then hit R to run once capital R you can do lowercase as well I'm pretty sure but usually PowerShell is very uh, case sensitive so press enter it will run the debloat script and this is for the GUI user, yeah, GUI user interface version so this one you can disable Cortana you can do that in the normal settings but I'm just gonna do it here um, you can uninstall OneDrive I I don't see OneDrive being that useful so you can disable it and you can see as you're clicking these oh, I guess I can't move that but it will show you right here what what's going on in the background so the reason I'm showing you this version is because one I'm more familiar with it than the command line interface like the PowerShell command prompt or terminal if you use Unix or Linux FreeBSD uh, Mac OS they all have a terminal um, you can enable and disable dark mode you can do that with a reg edit or registry edit for people that don't know and it's stopping the explorer real quick to remove one drive um, you can also use just the settings for dark mode like the window settings this is gonna freeze up for a second that's fine it's just because it's running it's trying to remove one drive from the explorer so this is this is normal so yeah, as you can see it came back um, what and the most important thing is to remove all bloatware or you can hit remove bloatware with a customized blacklist what that will do is it will just delete certain things and you can tell it if you want what to delete but I don't care so I'm not going to show you that um, you can stop edge from being your default PDF viewer you can enable it you can disable te telemetry tasks I'm not really sure what that is Mostly you just want to remove all bloatware or unpin tiles from the start menu. Um, that just gets rid of your, uh, well, your start tiles, of course. Um, like if you hit the Windows key, it will give you all those tiles of like, I don't know, Spotify. And uh, I think there was like some farming game on there. You know, there's Bubble Crush or what I, all those other ones. You don't need. It just takes up space. If you want those, you can reinstall them or keep them doesn't matter as you can see this is still trying to figure out what it's getting rid of here um, it's still removing the blacklisted stuff I almost never do that one I just do the full full removal so if I hit control C that should stop it possibly no it's gonna go through it no matter what so I always just do this one which is remove all and this is how you can customize the blacklist um, it's gonna freeze up on me my VM is very slow as I was saying but basically what you do is you put on there what you want to get have the the bloat scripts get rid of and then it will go through that and then hit remove the blacklist and we'll get rid of all that junk I just hit the remove all it's just simpler it's just straightforward you press the button it does it you know Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to Nunican TV who wasn't in the video, but he's a good YouTuber. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace.